story of Dafman Base. We're going to begin with the beginning of the Maimon near Hanukkah. So he asks, how come the menorah is on the left? Why not on the right? Goes on to explain that there's uh, creation happens from two levels of godliness. One is from Hashem's desire, the other is from Hashem's speech. Chaymer, the actual the actual material, uh, the existence itself comes from Hashem's speech. If it would come from Hashem's desire, it couldn't exist as something independent. Whereas uh, the form, the tzura, that comes from Hashem's uh, desire. Now, Hashem himself is beyond, uh, but it's only a ray from Hashem, only the name of Hashem that it actually is the life force for for existed uh, for things that uh, exist as separate from Hashem. The Ayin Sarm, the seventy uh, ministering angels, so they get they get more involved in the uh, material and di- and they're involved involved and. In, engrossed in it, whereas Hashem, it, it, the highest, the life force comes from Hashem without involvement. Now, what happens is that the Hashem makes something out of nothing, and our job is to make that something back into nothing. What do we mean when we say something and nothing? Something is where something feels like it has an ego and it's independent. Nothing is nothing, both because it's totally nullified to Hashem and because we don't grasp it all what it is, it's beyond. So bring it back to its spiritual source that we don't quite grasp. Now, uh, the uh, the the says that uh, now that uh, ha, ha, now I realize that uh, Hashem is um, Hashem is great and master of Elikim. What this means is that Elikim is the name of nature, and Hashem, as in Yudke Vavke, the Hashem's un, unlimited light, is, is the master, is greater than all, not just greater than all other gods, but greater and is beyond Elikim, Hashem within nature. Hashem within nature and Hashem as he's concealed is not the whole story. And uh, this is... Uh, this is because uh, create everything created uh, the format at least the form comes from uh, from Hashem's desire, and uh, it's only the uh, existence the chaymer which comes from Hashem's speech, and therefore uh, it may appear to others to the idolatrous nations it appears that uh, that uh, Hashem is not involved. But the truth is, it's, it is as he is involved, and this is his desire. He he cares for the for for this world, and Hashem do, does get involved. There's only a concealment of nature. So when a person meditates on this, he's going to yearn to want to connect Hashem. He wants to be with the real thing. And uh, and he he he'll, he realizes that. Uh, that uh, the only real thing is Hashem. So, you know, the in order to uh, achieve our our purpose of creation, we have to transform darkness into light. And this is the idea of transforming the animal soul into holiness. And uh, and we do that uh, with carbonus, which is taking an animal, a wild animal, and turning its passion into passion for Hashem. That's what happens when we bring up the animal on the Mizbeach. And the same thing when we dove, and we have to do it with our own animal soul to, to, to transform it, that it should give us extra passion in our service of Hashem. Now, the idea of letters are, interestingly that we don't have to decide where to put our mouth to make it each sound it just happens automatically it just moves to the right place this is unlike music where you have to practice to get it right so the soul uh, the, the soul has uh, multiple levels the outer level the nefesh is uh, where it is gives us the power of speech then ruach gives us the power of emotions then uh, neshama, the power of uh, intellect, and then uh, chayas, chachma, which is where the subconscious is revealed to us. So now, the uh, the Gemara talks about matat. This is one of the great angels 
tying crowns from the prayers of the Jewish people. What's that, the idea here? So uh, our prayers is where we're trying to reach beyond that even if we, we deserve a certain thing or even if we're, we should only have a certain level of revelation of Hashem, we want to reach beyond and uh, connect in a connect and receive beyond what we, re we really deserve. And this is similar to the idea of a crown. It says that Matat, uh, this angel Matat uh, uh, ties crowns. He make, forms crowns from our prayers. The crown is also beyond the head. It also represents a, a light from beyond. And this is the idea of when we say, we say Yehesh Meirabba, so Hashem nods his head. Um, the Yehesh Meirabba is we, in Kaddish, when we say, may Hashem's name be great. So uh, Hashem nods his head, meaning he, he, he says, yes, I want you. And that's about Hashem's desire. And uh, this is uh, making Hashem's name great. But here, I'm tapping into desire, which is beyond the regular system. So yes, the letters have ideas in them, but then the letters themselves are beyond ideas. They're just, we automatically say we put our mouth in the right position to make the right sound and that's something which is beyond because it's not really something planned and uh, therefore that's that's what we're trying to reach we're trying to reach beyond when we say amen now Torah also has both the ideas and then the letters themselves which is the beyond and uh because uh because uh, the Torah comes from a very deep, come, a high level of godliness. So therefore, uh, Torah is called a, the marshal, the marshal kanmani, because you need to have lots of levels of mashalim of parables to bring Torah down. Each parable brings Torah a little bit down. And that's why Shlomo says said 3,000 parables, not for 3,000 different things, but for one idea, he had to give 3,000 parables to bring it down and down and down until it was able to be understood within the physical world. Now, uh, the, the idea, the, the, when you have a lamp, we spoke about the different parts of the lamp, but then besides the parts of the lamp itself, you have avir, the air. Ur means light or fire. Avir is air. It has an extra yud. And uh, this uh, yud is, uh, represents uh, concealment and uh, but from that from that concealment, then we end up with the uh, with uh, revelation. And this is like the uh, similar to the idea of letters, which is beyond Torah. In other words, you have the contents of the Torah, but then you have the letters, which is beyond. Uh, and uh, then from there, although it's something we don't understand, it just happens. You just get the right letter. But from there, uh, it. it uh, the uh, it, 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 from there we have a, a revelation of both the content but also beyond the content, um, and so in order to uh, have Torah come down into the physical world and reveal how the physical items, agriculture, and business, and animals, and all the different things in the world are part of Hashem's plan, we have to first elevate ourselves towards Hashem. So with mitzvahs, we're elevating ourselves up, whereas with Torah, we're bringing, up, we're, we're bringing Hashem down into the world. This now answers why mezuzah is on the right and Hanukkah candles on the left, because they have two different functions. Mezuzah is about us going up to Hashem with love and yearning, and therefore it's on the right. The right is the side of love, whereas the Hanukkah lamps is saying, no, we're not going to suffice with going up. You need to then, bring, once you've gone up, you've elevated, you've got this yearning to Hashem. Now come down, bring that godliness down into the physical world, even into this uh, place of concealment. And therefore it's on the left, we're, because we're dealing with a place of concealment and we're trying to refine the world and our animal soul and then other nations. And that's why we like the manure outside. Traditionally, they would like the manure outside as well, uh, which is the idea of transforming the outside. Now, uh, 
this uh, also relates to why the it's a, the the Gemara says and says that the world exists from the Yehesh Mei Rabba of uh, of Agadita because Agadita is uh, is in Targum. It's not in Hebrew. It's in Aramaic and therefore represents concealment. But when we bring Yehesh Mei Rabba Hashem's great name, in other words, a light from beyond into that place of concealment, and then we transform it. So that that is um, that's our whole job, and that's why we're created to to bring light into the place of darkness. And sometimes it takes an even greater light in order to transform the darkness. And that is what Menorah does, lighting up the darkness. We'll continue with the beer tomorrow.